Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video, as you can see, will be another tutorial on how I did this easy blue, um, orange, yellow, black, nightingale look. I'm gonna call it my nightingale look. So if you guys are interested, make sure to keep on watching. I used three palettes. The first one is the Back to Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. Second one is the Lick and Lash Beauty Palette 35E. And then lastly, the Morphe 3502 Second Nature palette. So, um... If you do not got, if you guys do not have those palettes, I know like you don't have to have all the palettes in the whole world. You can use similar colors um, to the colors that I will be using today. Basic, basic colorful colors I'll be using today. And the back of me, you be like, oh my god, what is that? It's back there. It's my Colombia flag that I have, just because the colors that I'm wearing have like Colombian colors since they're blue and yellow. I don't have any red, but the orange kind of takes up for that red. Um, so yeah, and I also have my little Colombian, um, what's it called, uh, handkerchief. But yeah, anyways, um, if you guys are interested, make sure to keep on watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and let's get on with the video. So to start off, I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Maybelline um, concealer. You can use whichever concealer fits best for you. I'm also going to go ahead and blend it out using a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So for the first palette, I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Taking Back Drizzle palette with that small, thin, br not thin, but small, precise brush. I'm going into those um, two yellow colors and starting to pack those colors on my upper eyelid. I'm just continuously adding more and more layers just because um, the colors on the Taking Back Drizzle palette are kind of chalky and they're not as pigmented as I want to. Now I'm going into the Morphe 3502 Second Nature palette with the same brush that we did for the yellow. I'm going to be using that and dipping it into the shade Ablaze. I'm going to start applying that color underneath the yellow, not as high up as I did the yellow, but just like right under it. Start packing it on and blending it out. same brush that I did before I'm gonna go into the color Wiz which is that really dark black and then I'm gonna start applying it below the color ablaze so we're just creating layers first that yellow layer then the orange and now the black now we're gonna create a cut crease I'm using the Morphe M167 um, flat brush with the concealer, regular concealer that we did before, which was that Maybelline. Um, and I'm going to start applying or applying it to my lid to create a cut crease. As you can see on the side, like the yellow, black, and orange colors are kind of like dull. They're not as vibrant as they are on the other eye. I'm not sure why um, it came out like that. I applied the same amount of concealer as I did on the other eye. Like if you can see the difference, there's a very dramatic difference. But I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. Now I'm going into that blue color in the Taking Back Drizzle palette with the flat Morphe brush. And then that's what I'm going to apply on the concealer to create that cut crease. I'm going into the Lick and Lash Beauty 35E palette. This is the third palette that I told you that we're going to be using. This palette has a whole bunch of wonderful colors. We're going to go into that bright blue, shiny metallic blue with the same flat brush and then I'm going to apply it towards the middle and the front part of my eyelid if that makes sense. I just want to create more of a like metallic um, shiny look. Now I'm going into the Audrina Glow Co lashes and using the lashes in style Audrina. Now I'm going to go into the color Wiz with a really small flat brush and apply it on my waterline. If that is that what it's called? Eye waterline? I don't know. I'm not sure what it's called. But where I'm applying it is where you need to apply it. I'm going back into that yellow with the same brush that we did before and I'm applying it on my lower lash line. I remember now what it's called, the lower lash line. Okay, it's zippy and pure. I'm mixing those two colors together with a really, really small brush to apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. Just to give it that pop and that shine that it needs.
But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was detailed enough for you. That's all I have for you guys today. I will leave a playlist on my other makeup tutorials just in case you guys are interested in knowing other looks that I created. Again, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.